This is how the third member come, y'all, right here. Speedway Motors. That's how I come in a bucket. Professional, man. I love that. That's how they come, man. Like I said, man. I'm building this one myself. Yeah, we got to clean up the workshop, man. But uh, you know how it go. Got parts. Bare brakes, like I said. G-body, bare brakes. Six piston. Come pre-assembled on the spindle. Direct bolt on, man. There it go right here. My calibers, all of them on. Let me go. For these wheels right here, man. Yeah, the roaches. The roaches, man. These are 24s. I'm not doing the super big ones on there, man. 24s is big enough, man. But the type of power that I'm putting on this chassis right here. Woo, man. Good. I had to order this separate, man. Three. 3.49 years. There's the housing right there. Already set up for, for disc brakes. This build was hella expensive, man. Yeah, you can put the case back on that, man. Yeah. The axles and everything is in this box right here. There you go, right there. b and I debuted this when I first got it months ago. And this is not even the transmission that's going in this chassis yet. Not at all. Got so the cue in mind, man. Yeah, I just started, started it up, man. We starting to, starting to MIG well, man. Starting it up. Got to learn it myself because what I was paying dudes to do, man, I'm a do-it-yourselfer, man. I didn't like it. They hit you over the head, man. They get too greedy. Way too greedy. To ask them to weld just a little bit of something, something for you. And they, they go way, all, way out ridiculous. They want the world. But you know what? I'm going to do it yourself. And I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to get this garage clinked up, man. As you can see. Parts everywhere, man. Clean it up for y'all, man, so we can really debut it. When the sun come up, I'm gonna open the garage door. Yeah, like I said, I bring I bring the work home, man. Bring the work home, so when I leave the shop or whatever I'm doing, if I don't, can't get to the shop, I come right here and I've been doing this. I've been assembling this right here. Everything QA1. I'm gonna do a whole promotion of this chassis um, G body frame. Uh, I'm going to do a whole thing for you and mine to try and gain me some sponsorship, man, because I got everything. A-1s, lowers, uppers, everything, man. Viking coilovers, front and rear. But that's the fronts right there. The rears are on the way. Everything, man. I got everything you can bolt on from you and mine that concerns a G-body. I got it. Shock tower with everything. They're going to just build it off. Coil pack uh, holders right here. Real sexy looking ones right here, man. Finna build the engine right here in the garage. Everything. Stay tuned. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's good, family? How's your day going so far? My day is going great, man. Just went down to LA. Uh, picked me up some wire wheels, uh, 13 sevens uh, for the, the Monte Carlo, my training day. Um, Man, I'm uploading all of the older footage that I have, so I come current. I have current footage too uh, that I've been recording in the past uh, week or so. Every day I've been doing a little bit of recording, uh, getting ready to edit that stuff up for you guys. There's a lot of uh, uh, stuff that I got for you guys. Man, look here, man. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm gonna be consistent with it, man. Yeah, I'm back, man. Like I always say, I'm back. I'm Ten miles. Keep left on time, 15 north toward Las Vegas. Las Vegas right now. Coming.
coming from the IU area, San Bernardino. You know I me mean? on this highway, traveling. You know what I mean? Trying to keep the speed limit, man. Trying to keep it legal. Don't want no tickets. But uh, stay locked, stay tuned, stay with me. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, man. Like, share, and subscribe. It's like I gotta build my following all over, all over again. People don't forgot about me, man. But I'm building it up all over again. Staying consistent. I'm gonna stay in your face, whether you like me or not. I'm gonna stay in your face. So I'm gonna make sure I stay in my place and stay in your face. Church. Look here, man. UMI bear brakes. Calibers. UMI, man, that look good. Ugh. I'm working in the space, I got the tires right there. I'm gonna move everything over. Get all the boxes up out of here. All this stuff come in boxes, man. I said cow hood over there. Oh, if I didn't say it before, this is a SS Monte Carlo build right here. This is for my SS Monte Carlo that's been in storage for I don't know how long. But uh, we're using the G-Body chassis, man. Go that nine inch rim right there. Right here. That's the third member over there in the red bucket. Let me see. Man, I got everything for this damn thing right here, man. This can be a daily, this can be a daily driver right here. Even though I'm not using it as a daily driver, but it could be. Everything's gonna be up to date. Everything's up to date. What makes me kind of nervous is this right here. That, this makes me nervous right here. That Olympic gold alone. That Olympic gold, six piston, slotted in drill rotors. I know a lot of people say, you know, why you put the stickers right there? Nobody had never see that. No, this frame was powder coated, man, black. Sandblasted and powder coated. It wasn't a lick of rust, that's why I chose this, this chapstick to sandblast because it wasn't a lick of rust. Surface rust, but it wasn't a lick of rust as you can see. I didn't have to repair this spring or anything. I didn't have to do anything to it. Once it came out of sandblast, I inspected it again. I said, go ahead, go ahead with that one. But the one I have in storage, I know it has some issues because when I was doing the frame off on that one, I'm turning it around. My rims and tires for this build is right here. And I was, my crazy self is thinking about changing it up again. I'm thinking about changing up again. There you go. Y'all know what these is. The IT, the ICT, the ICT billet. Let me get the name right on this right here. Billy Coil Pack Brackets Coil Pack Brackets There we go oh, Man, I'm learning to call Things by their name I'm not giving them my own little nickname So you guys can understand I'm not just talking to myself I'm Talking to you guys My audience out there You see what that is, right? You guys see what that is, right? That's the Ruchi Forge. That's the stand wheel. I'll put that over there real quick. And these are the wheels to match. These are the wheels to match. And they are staggered. Three inch lip for the front. Five inch lip in the rear. Built to my specs. I'm not doing no notching, no frame. No, no tucking, none of that on this one. Now, I'm going to keep this pretty standard right here with all the aftermarket goodies in it. I'm not, I'm not squatting it. It's going to say standard height. I believe I got the rims a little bit too big. So I might have to go with a different um, coilover setup for the front. Or cut, cut into the, the fenders. So I might just cut into the fenders just to give me 
that extra one without any rub or scrub. But this is gonna be a basic. It, it's not even gonna be, I can't even call it basic no more. I got over 10 bands just in, in this alone. So it's not, it's, it's far from basic, but I wanted a, a stock feel, I wanted a stock feel to the car with a more modern touch. Excuse my garage, man. I've been, I've been out here, man. But uh, it takes no time to put this together. It's direct bolt on, man. Then they come with, if you need instruction, they have instructions too, but I know how to put all this stuff together. I didn't did it a lot of times just with the stock stuff. They make it real simple, real easy. It looks good. And here it is right here, a high-end build. It's a high-end G-body build. I estimate, and this build alone, about probably close to 40,000. Today is uh, uh, August 30th. So I'll be putting this out tonight, man. As soon as I get back home, I'll be uh, editing it up and putting it out there for you guys. Church.